Okay, so I built this fence about 20 years ago and I never put a gate on it. And uh, if you look at this post right here, um, it's nice and straight all the way up and down. And it's uh, plumb as well. But if you come over here and you look at this one, it's straight down at the bottom. By the time you get up, it has a really nasty twist to it. And I uh, threw a tape measure up there, and it's out almost three quarters of an inch by the time it gets to the top. So I need to build a gate for this part of the fence. And uh, that's the challenge that I've got, is that twisted post. Um, but that's going to be the project for this week. So let's get to it. So if I throw my tape measure up here, my opening down at the bottom is right at 36 inches. If I come up this high, it's still 36 inches, but then anything above that, it starts to shrink. And by the time you get to the top, um, it's down to uh, 35 and 5 eighths. So the question is, do, do I want to try to shave this part of this post off so that I can get a uniform 36 inches all the way up and down? I think that would be a good solution. This post isn't going anywhere. There's no way I'm going to be able to push that or twist it. So. If I want this to be uniform, I'm going to have to shave that off. I don't really have the tool set to do that with, um, so I'm going to have to think about that for a minute. You can see where it's pulling away from uh, the rest of the fence on this side. It's tight on the other side, but it's making a pretty good gap over here. But uh, what I've done is I've taken my straight edge and I've marked a line here with my pencil. All right, so I'm going to give this is a shot, see if I can't uh, straighten that out a little bit. I'm um, going to use uh, just a little portable electric chainsaw, see if that'll do the trick. It's a little tricky when it gets down 
where it's really thin and almost just use the, the chainsaw as a grinder. Let me uh, throw a tape measure up against that and we'll see how we're doing. It's actually not bad. It's pretty close to 36 all the way up and down. It's a little rough, but I mean, these are rough posts. Both of the posts are rough, even the one that I didn't uh, work on. So uh, I think I'm gonna go with that. Alright, let's see how long these cutoffs are. I think I might be able to use them. Yeah, those are uh, 30 inches. These were 8 footers, so 96 minus 66, 30. And I only need 28 and a half, so uh, I'm going to be able to use these for my uh, other two braces. Father's Day gift. Alright, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but these are 66 inches long, so I marked the midway point at 33 inches, and then three and a half, so I marked the midway point at an inch and three quarters, and then I matched those up so that I can get this exactly in the center. And I've got it clamped, um, just holding it in place, and I'll put some uh, additional clamps here to keep it from slipping out while I uh, install the pocket holes. Okay, so I stapled down this one edge all the way across. And then uh, you can see that I've cut this bottom, and I'll do the same thing for the center and the top uh, brace, the full length, just to give us some added uh, support across this joint. 
Um, and I'll, I'll do the same all the way through this uh, second half of the frame. And I, I like to do that just to add some additional support. I'm not going to use pocket holes on the rest. I'm just going to go straight in to the original frame. Okay, after attaching this board, um, I cut my two side uh, braces. And uh, since this is 66 inches tall, I subtracted seven. So I cut two of those at 59 inches. And I'm going to go ahead and attach those now. So the way that I'm putting this together, um, the hardware cloth comes to about right here on both sides. And I've pre-drilled where I'm going to screw this together. So these inside screws are going to be what keeps the hardware cloth from pulling in. So uh, that and along with this uh, center brace here, this is just sitting here, but that will also help keep it from moving. And the hardware cloth is going to really tighten up this entire door. It's going to provide it with bracing all the way around. So I'll go ahead and uh, get these attached. So here you can see how far over the hardware cloth comes. So when this is attached, um, it secures the hardware cloth. Okay, I wanted this uh, center brace to be a little bit snug. I'm not too snug, so I don't want to put too much pressure on, on these, but uh, just snug enough that I need to tap it in. All right, gate is uh, all put together. Let's take it out there and see how it fits. All right, it's a good fit. I've got right around a quarter of an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch on either side. Um, I've got the, the top shimmed and the bottom shimmed on that side just so I can keep a uniform spacing. And uh, I might have to uh, dig out a little bit of a path there. I don't want to raise it up because it's the right height for me to put a top plate on the door so that it matches the top plate on the fence. So that's exactly where I want to put it. So let's go ahead and uh, attach this and uh, we'll see how it opens. Yeah, okay, I went ahead and drilled the center hole right here and attached it. That way it'll uh, stay in place when I drill these other holes. And if you notice here, this is just a little bit too tall. Um, that's okay, I'm just gonna tap that over. And uh, if I have to do the same thing down below then, so be it. Okay, I went ahead and attached all three of these and here, just to hold that nice and steady, I'm going to go ahead and drill these two.
All right, it was a tight fit. I had to actually uh, chip out a little bit of concrete around the bottom of that post and uh, trim that, uh, that bracket just a little bit so I could get that to fit. But it uh, seems to open okay. Let's take a look at that. It's not bad. I still need. Pretty nice. All right, guys, there it is. Um, it's a really inexpensive way to build a door. Um, it's nice and light because the uh, hardware cloth is very lightweight. And uh, it also allows you to be able to see through, which I like. So uh, there you have it. I'll uh, put a top cap on it and uh, get it all nice and stained uh, off camera. But uh, that's going to do it for this week. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.